In February, Finance Minister Pravin Gordon set out some tough targets to reduce the budget deficit from 3.2% to 2.4% by the 2018-2019 financial year. Spending over the next three years was cut by around $1.8 billion. The most important thing that the medium-term budget policy statement will do is to project South Africa's budget deficits and public debt at levels similar to those that were projected in February. The minister will juggle the numbers and government expenditure in such a way as to convince the ratings agencies that he is not for turning, that he is committed to fiscal discipline. Assuring the ratings agencies that constructive moves are being made to lift economic growth is a priority. And unfortunately, South Africans may feel the consequences as more taxes are introduced. The sugar tax, that would be introduced in next February budget. So hopefully he provides some clarity on what is the nature of that tax and just how high is it going to be. The introduction of a carbon tax, it was delayed for a couple of years as further investigation was undertaken. But it's getting to the point where the ministers indicated that from next year we are going to have a carbon tax. Many South Africans are hoping the Treasury will make provision for higher education. Godan will have to find $200 million if tertiary fee increases are scrapped next year. Higher education currently receives around $10 billion a year. The most that the minister can really do with regard to the fees must fall procedure is to go along with amending government's budgets in line with the proposals put forward to freeze fees, 2.6 billion rand that would need to be found from other sources. That's a figure that is big, but it's not impossible for the government to rejig its expenditure. The finance minister has managed to convince ratings agencies to give South Africa a chance, promising them a turnaround. While the economy is showing some signs of recovery, struggles on the political front, including the charges laid against Gordon himself, may hamper these efforts. What that does, unfortunately, is it leaves the position of the Minister of Finance incredibly uncertain. That is he, is, he, is he comfortable in his role? Can he move ahead with some of the key policy initiatives? There's a lot of credibility that has been built up around the budgeting process. And that's one of the reasons why you don't want to change the Minister of Finance. The Finance Minister has shown loyalty to his party and to the President and appears to be trusted by most South Africans to steer this economy back to health. Investors too want stability, as was evident on the market this month. $3.6 billion was lost and the rand fell over 3% in a matter of hours after the minister was summoned to appear in court. It's unclear how this economy will fare in the near future, as this may be Praveen Gordon's last budget speech. Sumitra Nadu, CCTV, Cape Town, South Africa.